Good morning, third grade. Happy Wednesday. Um, we're going to be starting language in just a few minutes, so make sure you have your uh, language English three book and a pencil so that you're ready to go. And um, we are doing something a little different today in language. So we still are going to do the paper. I'm going to teach it on the board. We're going to go through the, the paper on the um, in your workbook, and I'll put it up on the TV so you can see it. But the front we're gonna do together, the back side is gonna be a quiz today, okay? So I'm gonna do a lot of teaching before, refresh our memories, make sure we really understand it. The front actually has a lot more on it. And so we'll do a lot of that on the front together. And then I'm gonna walk you through the back, except I'm not gonna tell you the answers. So I'm gonna read the directions, make sure you understand it. And then you're gonna underline, circle, circle or fill in um, your, um, sorry guys, I was just checking to make sure it was recording. Um, you're gonna to check to make sure um, that you're filling it in, okay? And then what you're gonna do, this is kind of fun, you're gonna take a picture of the back side, and if you're using your cell phone or your iPad, you can just text it right to me on that same number that I've been calling you, FaceTiming. Or if your mom or dad wants to scan it into their computer and then email it to me, you can do that too. So whatever is easiest, you can either text a picture and send it to me, or you can email me um, a picture of it as well, okay? And so I'll kind of explain that more at the end of the video, but um, that's kind of a little different uh, thing today. All right, so let's put our thinking caps on. We are going to review adjectives and adverbs. Okay, so adjectives are words that describe what, third grade? That's right, they describe nouns. And remember, nouns are person, places, or things. Okay, so adjectives tell us two questions. Let's look in the blue little bubbles here. They tell us what kind, and they tell us how many. If I'm saying a sentence like, the cute um, tan dog ran down the street, what words were describing my dog? He was cute, that's what kind of dog he was, and he was tan, tan colored. What if I said, four cute tan dogs ran across the street? What are my adjectives in that sentence? Well, we still have cute and tan, but did you hear how many dogs there were? There were four dogs. Remember that numbers are adjectives too. So whenever you see a number, it's always an adjective. Don't think twice about it. And remember some adjective words like many, a few, several, a ton, right? All of those words actually mean numbers. So if it's a number word, that's going to be an adjective also. So that's kind of an easy hint there. If you see a number, it's always going to be an adjective. Good job. Adjectives tell us what kind and how many. So let's go through and read these sentences and we'll see if we can find the adjective in the sentence. Get my marker. All right. So number one, Saturday was windy. Okay. So Saturday is my noun. That's my thing. Okay. It's on my day of the week, right? Saturday. What kind of day was Saturday? It was windy. Windy is my adjective describing Saturday. It didn't tell us how many Saturdays. That wouldn't have made sense. Okay, let's go to the next one. We bought four balloons. Do you see a word describing balloons that either answers what kind of balloon or how many balloons? How many balloons, right? How many balloons were there? Four. Remember, whenever you see a number, seven, twelve, a hundred, many, a few, it's always, that's always what you're going to circle. Okay, let's do the next one. Every student brought a lunch. Okay, so student is my person. That's my noun. What word is describing student? Did anyone say every? What is every telling us? What kind of student or how many students? That's kind of a trick one. It's actually telling how many students. If every student 
brought it, that means all of them. If it was our class, that would mean 17, right? If it was a different grades class, and whatever however many kids they have. But technically, every student is a number because it's telling us that all of them, right? It's the amount, how many, okay? So that is our adjectives. Quick review here. Adjectives describe nouns. They answer what kind or how many. Okay, skipping over to this side now. Adverbs, okay. Adverbs describe, let me get my green marker, verbs, right? Adverbs describe verbs. And verbs are what, third grade? Verbs are actions, right? So they're not describing days or balloons or students. Those are all nouns, person, places, or things. These are gonna describe actions, running, jumping, dancing, singing, you know, um, looking, whatever it is, anything that you can do, okay? So what three questions do adverbs answer? They tell us how someone does the action. How did they run? They ran quickly. When they did an action. When did they run quickly? They ran quickly yesterday, okay? When did they go yesterday? They also ask the question, where? Where did they run quickly yesterday? He ran quickly yesterday. Um, over there or something, okay? So it's, it tells us where the, the action happened, all right? So let's look at our sentences and let's see if we can figure out where the adverb is. And we're always looking at what word is the, ad, what is the action that the adverb is describing. Okay, so the feather fell softly to the ground. Fell is my action, right? You can picture the feather fell softly to the ground. Okay, do you see a word in the sentence that tells how it fell, when it fell, or where it fell? This one's a little bit tricky. How it fell. How did it fall? Softly. Very good, guys. I always like us to look for those L-Y words first, because a lot of times, guys, adverbs end with L-Y. So always look for an L-Y first. It's kind of like with the adjectives, always look for a number first. With the adverbs, always check for an L-Y word first. How did it fall? It fell softly. Good job. Let's try the next one. I visited my grandparents today. Oh, I forgot to underline our, our verb. Our verb is visited. That's my action. Now, does it tell how I visited? when I visited or where I visited? Did anyone circle today? Today tells us when did she visit? She visited today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, today. All right, let's look at the last one, number three. She went outside to play. Okay, went is my verb, that's my action. How did she went or go? When did she go or went? And where did she go or went? Do you see a word that's describing? It's where. If you didn't find it, look. Where did she go play? Outside. Outside is my adverb describing where she went to play. Okay, she went outside to play. All right, guys, so what we're going to do right now is I am going to share uh, my screen. I'm using a different video recording option here, and I'm able to put up my screen right on there. Let's see if it works. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you guys should be able to see the paper and these are the sentences that we just did on the board together, okay? Adjectives tell what kind and how many, and, they, and adverbs tell us how, when, or where an action happened. So we're gonna go down to number one. Now this is not part of the quiz, okay? So this is what we're doing together. The quiz will be um, on the back side, okay? All right, so let's look at number one. Number one says, 
well, I guess let's read our directions first, right guys? So the directions say, read each sentence and decide whether the underlying word is an adjective or an adverb. So remember, adjectives tell us what kind or how many, I'm giving myself a little hint here, and adverbs tell us how, when, or where the action took place, okay? Oh, let me, you might need to move, move my little bubble around. Let's see if I can move this over just a little bit. I don't know exactly where, okay, that might make it better. Okay, so number one, let's decide if the underlying word is an adjective or an adverb. Some explorers have gone to the polar regions. What is some? Is some an adjective or an adverb? Now, this is tricky, guys, so let's, let's kind of look at this and see. First, can you tell me what is some describing? Some is describing my explorers, right, guys? So is it telling us how many explorers? what kind of explorers, or how, when, or where explorers? Well, explorers, is that a person, place, or thing? Explorers are people, right? Well, what, which one describes people? Adjectives, right? Because adjectives describe nouns. This is telling us how many explorers were there. How many explorers? There were some explorers. And I know that's not an exact number. It's kind of like those words like many or few, right? But some is telling us how many there were. There wasn't just one explorer, there were some explorers. So I want us all to bubble in adjective there. Okay, let's look at number two. Richard Bird boldly flew over both poles. And he's talking about like the North Pole and the South Pole when we say poles. What is boldly? Does anyone see a hint there? What does it end with third grade? It ends with a L-Y. Does anyone remember what L-Y words are? Adjectives or adverbs? L-Y is an adverb. Everyone to fill that in and let's just make sure so adverbs describe actions, right? Boldly, what is boldly describing? Richard Bird boldly flew over both poles. What did he do boldly? He flew boldly, right? And flew is an action, it's a verb, so that makes sense that boldly is describing flew, all right? Good job, guys. So that's an adverb, always look for those LYs. Okay, number three. Now, scientists work in these cold places. What is now telling us? Well, let's go through the, the words, at the, the questions at the top. Does it tell us how many? It's not a number now. Does it tell us what kind now? Mm -mm. So if it's not answering those two, it must be an adverb. But let's look and see. Does now tell us how something happened? When? something happened or where something happened. Now tells us when something happened. When did it happen? It happened right now. So that is an adverb question. So we're gonna fill in the adverb box or bubble there, circle. All right, let's try number four. They have built workstations and labs there. Okay. So there is the word I'm looking at. Does there tell us how many? Is there a number word? Does there tell us what kind? No, it's not like a, it's not describing there. So it must be an adverb, but let's check and see which question it's answering. Does there tell us how, when, or where? There. It tells us where, where should I put it? Put it right there, right? Where are we gonna eat? 
over there. So there tells us where we're gonna do something. That is an adverb. Let's go ahead and fill it out. Boy, three adverbs in a row. So they're not necessarily gonna mix them up. Adjective, adverb, adjective, adverb. They're kind of trying to trick us on. Huh? Okay, let's look at number five. Scientists come from different countries to work. Okay, different. Is different telling us how many? Mm, it's not a number. How about what kind? Does different tell us what kind? Maybe, let's see. Scientists come from different countries. What is different describing? Different is describing the countries, right? They come from different countries. So is that telling us what kind of countries? Yes, what kind of countries? Different countries. Very good, guys. So that's going to be an adjective. All right, let's try number six. They carefully record their experiments in journals. Does anyone see something? It's the same thing I saw in number two. It ends in L-Y. What do my L-Y words always become? Adjectives or adverbs? Adverbs, that's right. So go ahead and fill in adverbs. It's an adverb because it's describing how they record their experience, experiments. So record means to like write down, to jot down. So how do they record them? They record them carefully. So that was a how question. All right, let's look at number seven. Later, the scientists teach each other what they have learned. Okay, so later. Is later telling us how many? It's not a number. Does it tell us what kind? No. Does it tell us how? Later. Does it tell us when? Yes. When are they going to do it? They're going to do it later. Later, the scientists teach each other what they learn. When are they going to teach each other? They're going to teach each other later. So that is a when. That is an adverb. Good job, you guys. All right, let's look at number eight. They are helping to protect these frozen environments. Does frozen tell us how many? It's funny, there's no how many ones in this. Does it tell us what kind of environments? Frozen environments, what kind of environments? These are frozen environments. So that is an adjective, what kind? All right, so check your bubbles, make sure you bubbled in the same as I did. And then let's go down to the section on the bottom, number nine. It says, write an adjective and adverb to complete the sentence. Now they give us four words there at the bottom. Do you see it? Huge, outside, softly, young. Okay, so what could we put? The huge lion, the outside lion, the softly lion, or the young lion? Now our second blank is after walked. The something lion walked and then some word at the end. So there's actually there's some different choices I could do here. There's not gonna just be one answer. Well, if I, I'm looking at that lion, he doesn't look very young to me. So I'm gonna say huge. The huge lion walked, well, it looks like he's kind of tiptoeing, doesn't it? He's like creeping. So how was he walking? Softly. Now, friends, you do not have to choose these two. You could have said, the young lion walked outside. The huge white lion walked outside. The young lion walked softly. There's a lot of different choices there. What you couldn't have is like, the softly lion walked huge. That doesn't make sense. The outside lion walked young. That sounds kind of weird, right? So just make sure it makes sense when we do the quiz part on the back. Okay, guys, this is our, this is our practice quiz. Now, I'm not calling it a test, guys, because third grade, it's not very, it's not as easy doing what we're doing over the video like this. And I know when I call you guys on the phone, I'm able to go over things with you, but it's still not the same as the classroom. So this is just for me to kind of see are they getting it or what do I need to teach more of? And then that's what I'm gonna do when I call you up 
we're going to go over things that we miss. So don't worry so much about this. I just want you to do the best you can so I can see um, what you're learning. Okay. All right. So this says, let's look at the first box. Circle the adjective that describes each underlined noun. Okay, guys, so you notice that there are words underlined. Explore, country, explore, rolled, and weather. Rolled is a name, okay, of a person. Each of those nouns in that sentence has a word describing it. Remember, adjectives tell us what kind or how many. So as I read this, I want you to see if you can find a word that either tells us what kind or how many. Okay, I know my menu is kind of messy there. Okay, so I'm gonna read the first sentence. Roald Amundsen was the first explorer to reach the South Pole. What word is describing explorer? Either what kind of explorer or how many explorers? What word is describing explorer? Go ahead and circle that now. All right, next sentence. He was born in the cold country of Norway in 1872. What kind of country or how many countries? See if you can find a word describing country and circle it. Next sentence. From the time he was a boy, Roald wanted to be a polar explorer. Find a word describing explorer. What kind of explorer or how many explorers? Circle the word describing explorer. All right, and our last sentence. Young Roald slept with the windows open to prepare himself for polar weather. Find a word that describes weather. What kind of weather or how many weathers? Circle the word describing weather. All right, friends, if you need to rewind that section and have me read that through you again, rewind it and play it back. But you should have five words circled in that first purple box. All right, we're gonna go down to the second purple box. It says, circle the adverb that describes each underlined noun. Remember, adverbs tell us how, when, or where an action happened, okay? So I'm gonna read the first sentence, actually first two, because the first sentence doesn't have a underlined verb. All right, no one had been to the South Pole. Soon, a British explorer planned to go. So you're looking for a word that's describing planned. How he planned, when he planned, or where he planned. Go ahead and circle the word describing planned. All right, next sentence. Rolled up Munson eagerly awaited to be first. We're looking for a word describing wanted. How did he want? When did he want? Or where did he want? See if you can find a word describing wanted. All right, next sentence. He secretly planned his trip. Planned again. How did he plan? When did he plan? Or where did he plan? Circle the word describing planned. All right, the last sentence. Quickly, Amundsen chose the best crew and the strongest sled dogs. Chose. What word is describing chose? How he chose, when he chose, or where he chose? If you need to rewind and go back, do that now, but you should have four circled words in the purple box. All right, we're gonna go down to our next section. It says, read each sentence and decide whether the underlying word is an adjective or an adverb. Mark the correct circle. Number one, 
Rolda Munson eagerly told people that he was going to the North Pole. Eagerly. What is eagerly? Is it an adjective or an adverb? Fill in the bubble. Number two. But he led his faithful crew south to Antarctica. What is faithful? Is it an adjective or an adverb? Finally, the team reached the South Pole on December 14, 1911. What is finally? Is it an adjective or an adverb? Finally. And the last one, number four, they arrived several weeks before the British explorers. Several. Is several an adjective or an adverb? All right, same thing, guys. If you need me to repeat those, rewind it and rewatch. Number five is our last part of the quiz. Joe read a blank book, blank. All right, so you're going to put in either there, yesterday, library, or new. So go ahead and practice saying a couple, see which one sounds the best. Friends, when you're finished with number five, that is the end of our um, little quiz here. So I'm going to um, go ahead and stop sharing the screen so you can see me better. Okay. All right, guys. What I want you to do is when you're completely finished, I want you to take a picture and send it to me. And then when I call you, I can go over the answers and it'll be easier for me to see how you did and what you got. All right. And if you have any questions, just guess and do the best you can, but circle it. And that way I'll know to go back and check that over with you when we make our call. Okay. So if I don't call you today, tomorrow's your call and we'll go over it then. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, third grade, and I will see you tomorrow. All right. Bye guys.